Hello, second grade. This is module one, lesson two. And our object objectives for this lesson is I can make the next 10 and add to a multiple of 10. So this is what um, the tens and the ones look like. You may remember it from last year. We have the tens, which are represented by these straight lines or these um, 10 group of 10 here and our ones are just these single squares here now with knowing that this is a 10 and this is a group of 10 and that these are ones we need to figure out how many we have all together here so first let's count how many tens we have Looks like we only have one group of 10 here, so let's write one. Now let's write how many ones we have. So we'll need to count how many ones. Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can write a seven. Now remember, this is the ones place right here and this is the tens place right here. You don't want to get them mixed up because then you're going to have a whole different number. So make sure that you're writing the ones that you see here on this side and the ones place. And you're writing the tens that you see here in the tens place right here. Now our next step is we need to write a number sentence. So our first number sentence that goes along with this number here is how many tens did we have? We had one. So 10, we have 10 plus how many ones did we have? We had seven. So 10 plus seven equals what is our number here? 17. So 10 plus seven equals 17. One tens plus seven ones equals 17. Here's our next one. I want you to write down how many tens you see here. Write that down. Now let's count one, two. There's two groups of tens. So how are we going to write that? Two. Now, we're gonna write how many ones. Count how many ones we have. Now remember where you're going to put the ones. Are you gonna put the ones on this side or this side? I hope you put them on this side because this is the ones place and this is the tens place. How many ones do we have? One, two. So there should be a two and the ones place and a two in the tens place. Now we need to write our number sentence. Now don't let this trick you up because we're not gonna write 10 now because how many tens do we have? We have two tens, so we need to make it a 20 plus how many ones did we have? We had two, so plus two. So 20 plus two equals 22. Okay, go ahead and write down how many tens you see here. I want you to write down how many tens and then how many ones you see. Now make sure you're putting the ones in the ones place and the tens in the tens place. Okay, so Let's count how many tens there are first. One, two, three, four, five, six. Did you count six tens? If you did, give yourself a kiss on the brain. Now let's count how many ones there are. This is pretty simple. It looks like there's only one ones. So there should be one ones. Did you put the one in the ones place and the six in the tens place? If you did, give yourself a kiss on the brain. Excellent job. Now, I want you to write 
the number sentence that would go along with this. Write the number sentence that would go along with this. Push pause if you need to, and then push play when you're done. Okay, so let's write this together. Let's see if you got it correct. So how many tens did we have? We had six tens, so that means we have 60 plus how many ones? One, one, one. So 60 plus one equals 61. I hope you got the same answer I did. Okay, now I'm gonna let you do this one on your own. So make sure that you're writing our, your tens and your ones. You write your whole number up here. And then don't forget to write your number sentence here. Go ahead and push pause when you're, if you need to, and then push play when you're done. Okay, let's see what number you got. I hope you got, let's see, one, two, three tens, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ones. Make sure that you didn't get these mixed up. Make sure your eight is in the ones place and your threes is in the tens place, because we have three tens and eight ones. Now, what did your number sentence look like? Did you have 30 plus 8 equals 38? Give yourself a kiss on the brain if you had that excellent job. Okay, so this next strategy that we're going to do is called the hide zero. So what we're going to do is we're gonna hide this zero with another number and we're gonna make a um, a different number here so if we have 10 and we hide it the zero with a 1 what number do we have now we have 11 good job let's try another one if we have 10 and we hide the zero with a five, what number do we have now? We have 15, very good. Oh, we're getting a little tricky now. If we have 20 and we have the hide the zero with a seven, what number do we have now? We have 27, good job. And if we have 40, and we hide it, the zero, with a nine, we have 49. Okay, next we're gonna do some more number sentences here. So I have 10 plus eight. What is 10 plus eight? We should get 18. If we hide the zero with the eight, we would get 18. So 10 plus eight equals 18. Our next one is 50. So go ahead and write 50 down. And then write plus three. And I want you to write down your answer. What is 50 plus three? Did you write down 50 plus three equals 53? If you did, give yourself a kiss on the brain. Excellent job. Okay, the next one, 30. Write down 30 plus six, and then write your answer. Did you get 36? Good job if you did. Our next one is 70. Write down 70 plus seven, and write down your answer. Did you get 77? And our next one is 80, write down 80, plus nine, 
and then write down your answer. I hope you got 89. Okay, so now it's time for our debrief questions. And what you're going to do is you're going to, on Seesaw, you're going to Seesaw your teacher a short video answering these questions. The first question here is, what learning today did you remember from last year? Your next question that you're going to talk about in your video is, how does knowing 10 plus 3 help us with 50 plus 3? How would knowing 10 plus 3 help us with 50 plus 3? And then your last question that you're going to talk about in your short video is, how does the hide zero strategy help us? Then you're going to seesaw that video to your teacher. And after you seesaw, you're going to get your exit ticket. And this is what your exit ticket looks like. And this is what you're going to do on your own. This is your independent work, your work time. So make sure it says lesson two exit ticket 2.1. Make sure that's what it says.